is a, well, anybody would think at the minute that it's perhaps a good day to bury bad news. I've noticed that over the last week at least, the uh, coronavirus, um, or the, uh, I'll dub it the uh, human malware situation, like uh, another YouTuber that I watch that likes to call it, I think that's a great description. But uh, I'll hold my breath because he might want to uh, have a go at me for breach of copyright. But it seems to have taken up the entire coverage of the news at the minute over the, the last week where literally nothing else other than coronavirus, the human malware situation has been... It's just, it's just been the 100% of the airtime. But of course, while the focusing on that there are certain other things that they're not covering things that they might be glad that they're not covering let's start with the obvious shall we let's start with the invasion that the greeks are having to suffer at the minute where thousands of illegal migrants have been bussed to the border by turkey uh, and of course greece has been left to fend for themselves. Um, luckily, other nation states have been helping them by sending their own armies down there to protect the border. But the BBC are not reporting on that at the minute, so I guess that's a nice little get out clause for them. The second thing that they're not reporting on is the surge once again of illegal migrants crossing the English Channel because the French authorities have been diverted to the uh, human malware issues and have not been manning the uh, security at the uh, coast and at the ports but the BBC don't like to cover that sort of thing anyway do they so once again perfect get out clause for them what about in France what about the fact that the yellow vest pr protests are still raging on even now that's something that the mainstream media in general don't want to cover they haven't been covering it anybody think if you listen to the mainstream media alone that it's all stopped as all that nothing's happening well it isn't but of course by reporting on that that would make it appear like that there are problems in the eurozone and they don't want to let you believe that there are problems because that might just make people glad that they voted for brexit it might even make some people who voted to remain think maybe I made the wrong decision there. They don't want to make you believe that, do they? The Eurozone, of course, is, because of the human malware situation, is losing control of its own member states because each member state have been implementing their own measures to, to tackle this issue. Uh, and right now the EU um, is completely irrelevant. Nobody's taking orders from them, they're doing what they feel is necessary and, you know, to hell with the Eurocrats. So this could see a resurgence of the nation state um, and it could see, hopefully, the collapse of the EU, but the media won't want to report on this, will they? Once again, they don't want you to believe that not everything's quite so united over there. They want you to believe that everything's just tickety-boo. And last but not least, of course, we have seen now several attempts to postpone Brexit. They say that we have to put the uh, transition, we have to extend the transition period uh, because of the human malware situation. But isn't it funny how that the only people that are screaming for this are the diehard Ramoners who simply just still can't accept that we're leaving? Now, I'm going to be fair here, OK? I'm perhaps thinking that there may need to be a small extension because nobody's able to do what they need to do right now. But it should only be a small extension, not an excuse for the EU to say a two-year extension, which gives them the means to be able to stop Brexit altogether. It should be however long we're dealing with this for, the next few months, it should be no longer than that. And if somebody else were to come out, a Brexiteer were to come out and to say, well, yes, we, we really need to just, you know, postpone it by just a, sh a short amount. I wouldn't be so against it, if I'm honest, just in the interest of fairness. But 
when it's the likes of David Lammy and Lisa Nandy that are coming out and saying that we must postpone Brexit, then you just know that they're exploiting this current situation for their own political gain. But once again, the media burying it. A good day to bury bad news. So, anybody else know what else? Anybody else out there can think of what else that they're not reporting on? Because so long as this goes on, they're getting away with all this and not reporting on news that they don't want to report on. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Easy.